Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk track and field. And with us, head coach Jared Kelsch. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Rob. Already uh, into the outdoor season. Uh, your team got the outdoor season underway this past weekend. And obviously, uh, with the weather improving, uh, nice to be outside. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was such a harsh winter. Um, our first meet was, was canceled at Davenport. So um, got to go to Michigan State this weekend. Beautiful weather on Saturday. Um, really just a, a great meet for and great weather to kind of do a rust buster, get everybody um, fitness level and check and, and kind of see where we stand uh, at the beginning of the season and where we can improve moving forward. So as we go to some of the highlights of that, maybe uh, some, some of the key performances uh, for your team here in this season opening meet. Uh, yeah, we had a lot of great performances this weekend. Um, we had a couple of uh, athletes who had never previously done the jab, uh, kind of move into the jab due to some injuries. Um, so Hannah Price and Kennedy Reibschlager um, threw very well in the jab for um, the first meet of the season. Um, Katie Atlamecki ran well in the in the 5K. Um, we had a lot of PRs um, in the throws area as well. Bree Copley um, did great in the shot put, um, and then the sprinters. Um, Really, really did well considering uh, the, the weather we've had to train in. Um, so it's great to be able to get out on the track and, and get that first one in. Um, so we're excited to kind of see where the season goes from here. Obviously a meet like this that uh, brings in a lot of, uh, of the top athletes uh, from around the conference, around the region, and, and certainly across the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, it's always good when you go to uh, Michigan State. They tend to have all divisions there. Um, and, and so that's always helpful because that really kind of helps us gauge uh, where all of our athletes are, are at, not just our, our, our top end or our, our mid-tier lower end athletes. So um, it, it gives everybody a, a great idea of things we need to work on moving forward um, and gets them good competition um, and, and kind of sets the tone for the season to uh, what we want to achieve and kind of helps with uh, goal setting. Obviously uh, going from the indoor season to the outdoor season, uh, what, what's that transition like uh, maybe for the student athletes? Um, for our freshmen, it's a it's a big transition, especially if they were uh, not athletes that did year-round running. Um, obviously, coming up to the college level is a is a big step. So, running a full season of indoors and then moving to a full season of outdoors um, is is quite an adjustment. Uh, most athletes kind of pick and choose one or two, maybe three meets indoors that they run in high school, and then we'll do a full outdoor season. So, um, I, I think just the mentality and you know, having the, the fall conditioning and then going right into indoors and outdoors and essentially competing for six months is, um, is, is a big change for, for them. So um, it, it's always a little bit hit or miss, but I think uh, considering the weather, our kids have done a fantastic job this year um, of, of really just kind of um, putting their heads down and continuing to work throughout the indoor season, uh, hoping that the outdoor season is gonna, gonna bring some really good results with, with the change in weather, so. You speak of the uh, younger kids, and obviously you look at some of the results uh, from this past weekend. Uh, a lot of freshmen, sophomores in there uh, that were able to place, and uh, certainly a good young nucleus uh, here on your teams. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, kind of been our focus uh, the last couple of years to to kind of round out our whole team. So, um, you know, we're trying to add more jumpers, more sprinters, um, you know, obviously distance runners, throwers, but um, just really trying to make it a more rounded team. So. Um, with that, you tend to get more incoming freshmen when you're when you're trying to you know recruit for different types of events. So um, we're we're very excited with with the class that we had brought in, and um, th thus far they've um, you know been very impressive for us. So um, we're we're really happy with with how things are going, especially uh, only having one meet in thus far in the year. So going back to the indoor season, one of the older uh, guys, uh, Cody Stillwell, was able to earn All America honors in the weight throw. Uh, maybe talk about that accomplishment for him. Uh, first ever uh, weight thrower to earn All-America honors here at Ferris State. Yeah, Cody is a guy who uh, lives in, in Breeze uh, throwing events. So, um, you know, he's always the first one there, the last one to leave uh, every practice. So huge, huge accomplishment. Um, you know, he was a national qualifier indoors last year, um, but I think he ended up 11th. Um, so for him to, to get on the podium this year when um, he's more of a, a hammer guy outdoors and less of a, a weight thrower indoors, um, was was huge for him. Um, he had a pretty solid season and you know continually improved throughout each meet, um, but really stepped up and he had his best throw at the national championships. So um, that's what you're always looking for. Um, you know, always a good day to have your best day is at the national championships. So um, you know we were we were super thrilled with with uh, how his season and um, senior indoor campaign ended. So. 
one of the awards just announced actually uh, here early this week. Uh, he, along with Katie Adelmaki, named GLIAC Commissioner's Award recipients, uh, which really speaks to what they were able to do both uh, on the track and, and in the classroom with their accomplishments. Yeah, um, great, great student athletes, um, and, and that's uh, always a big focus for us is, you know, we want to do well in the classroom uh, as well as the track and the cross-country course. So um, th those kids specifically are just um, a perfect testament of, of the type of athlete that we look for to bring into our program and you know we want them to be successful in the classroom and we really stress um, academics and um, making sure we're taking care of business before we show up for practice and um, they've done a fantastic job over their careers of, of doing that and, and like you said we're deservingly rewarded for it so back in action this week uh, talk about what's coming up uh, with some of the key meets coming up over the next couple weeks so yeah, we'll split up this week, uh, um, week and we're going to uh, have one group go to Bucknell in Pennsylvania and then have a group uh, hopefully go to Ball State in Indiana. Um, again, just we're, we're getting to the portion of our season where we're going to go for another month here and we'll be to the outdoor championships already. So um, kind of on a, on a time crunch, almost seems like a real short season with only having five meets. Um, but we, we want to compete well every weekend um, and continue to improve so that um, we're able to set ourselves up to be successful at the GLIAC Championships. So, uh, you know, knowing that we're only three and a half weeks away from that, um, we, we want to stay focused, um, kind of keep our eye on the prize and continue to progress throughout the next couple of weeks um, to help us get where we want to be before we get to the GLIAC Championships. Obviously, the GLIAC Championships early May uh, going to be hosted by Grand Valley State down in Allendale. And uh, talk about uh, maybe having that uh, so close to, to Big Rapids here and a chance for uh, some fans to go out and watch your team. Yeah, uh, anytime we, we are in the state of Michigan for the conference championship, it's great. Um, generally, we can, um, you know, go down the day of or go down and back, which is, which is great for our kids. They're, they're able to sleep in their own bed, kind of keep that similar routine that they have. Um, and then, of course, just having the fans so close by, um, being so close, we tend to get a ton of support when, you know, we're in the Grand Rapids area um, doing meets or Lansing or things like that. So, um, you know, we have great, great parents and a support system uh, for our program. And so it's always great for them to be able to come and watch a conference championship meet, um, you know, and, and not have to travel real far. So uh, we're, we're very excited. Grand Valley's got a great, great facility. So um, we're, we're excited to, to see how the season ends up for us. Obviously a facility that uh, your team knows well. You've uh, taken part in a number of meets there in recent years and uh, obviously have a couple more uh, here on the schedule before you get to that uh, conference meet. Yeah, it's, it's always great to, to get on the track. I mean, every track's 400 meters, but just the layout of the throwing areas and the jumps pits and um, things like that, it kind of gives you an idea of um, where you need to be. And so we generally like to, to try to go to a meet or two each, each year um, prior to the conference championships just so our kids can get a, a look at the facilities and um, kind of have an idea of, of what they're going to do. So, um, yeah, we're, we're very, very excited, and um, we're, we're really looking forward to, uh, to continuing to progress throughout the season. So. Finally here, uh, how do you kind of structure the training and getting ready for those conference championships uh, just a few weeks away? Yeah, so generally um, for, our, you know, like our sprints group, um, we'll, we'll in decrease our, our reps a little bit, um, maybe increase intensity, um, have a few more lighter days as we get into the later portion of our season. Um, you know, fairly similar with the distance, we'll, we'll start to cut the mileage down a little bit, um, do a little bit more race pace stuff or under. Um, again, just so we're familiar with, with that intensity and, um, and, and that really helps for the conference championship because uh, everything from the 1500 meters down has prelims. So a lot of our kids, if they make finals, will be running a second day in multiple events. Um, so we want them feeling fresh. Uh, so was, as we go through the last couple of weeks, uh, we, we kind of cut back a little bit in the weight room and cut back a little bit um, training wise as far as uh, how much we're doing just to make sure our kids feel good, their legs feel fresh, and uh, they're excited and ready to roll. Well, Coach, thanks for being with us here today, and uh, best of luck as you get back in action this weekend. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.